This program is brought to you in part by a grant from the New Jersey Historical Commission. I heard that a license was going to be acquired in New Jersey. A bunch of people in Newark want to put together New Jersey's first public radio station. I really wanted to leave Boston. I wanted to come back to New York. And that's when I found out about WBGO. There was a lot of skeptics. You'll never be able to succeed there. Jazz, you're going to make it into an all jazz format that's never been done before in public broadcasting. It can never happen. And worse than that, you're never going to get the support of your listeners. When he started this, everybody said, it can't be done, it can't happen with the jazz station. But Bob proved them wrong. So how do you go about starting a station from scratch in probably the media capital of the world? So that was the challenge we had um, before us. I began to look for a facility for the, the new WBGO headquarters. And I wanted it to be a place that was visible, that was accessible to the public, that became part of the heart of the downtown area. Then we found a vacant building in downtown Newark. We said, look, we're starting this radio station. We're not on the air yet. We don't have any money. We don't have any listeners, but we'd like to buy your building. And that's kind of, I guess, symbolic of how we did things at WBGO is we just knew it could happen. And we just broadcast. And we kind of said, is there anybody out there is there anybody who wants to listen to jazz? And people started to call. It was really amazing. And I'm convinced that jazz has the ability to go through the airwaves and find people wherever they are and draw them into our community. It, there's a power behind jazz.